guys welcome back to the next video and this is going to be a hero breakdown video in which we will talk about the new upcoming hero bard now he is a range hero and we will do our breakdown in usual manner where we will talk about first how to obtain this hero then we will talk about each of his skills where to use him based on that what is a good talent build for him and whom you can pair him with now let's start with how to obtain him first click on claim you'll see that he's a top commander hero so you need to rank in top 15 to unlock him and then you can use your universal fragments to actually upgrade him now with his each skill first of all his awakened skill is same as his first skill so let's talk about it here he deals damage to three enemy squads in a circular area with damage factor of 13,000 which gets increased to 14,300 which is really good also Damage taken by each enemy squad will reduce by 15% which is pretty standard in range heroes that we've seen so far. Next is if this skill kills an enemy squad like any of these three, 50% chance of immediately recovering 60 rage which gets increased to 65 plus own attack buff of 30% for 3 seconds. Now this is huge. So first of all his skill damage is massive, 14,000 is really good. On top of it, if you flank him, like most of the time, if you are on the field, you will get flanked in group combat, especially even if it is in rally, you will get a counter rally depends on which bracket you are in. He kind of fixes one downside that Luis had, which was to reduce his damage on the target. People just put one single troop squads outside to reduce that 15%. Now that won't work with him because if you do that, first of all, you not only will give him additional rage to increase his skill damage, on top of it, you can potentially increase his attack by 30% for 3 seconds. So instead of weakening his attack, you are going to basically make him more powerful in that sense. So basically, it will be very difficult to reduce his AoE damage. His next skill is increase range squad attack by 30% and if enemy squad is having silence inflicted on it additional 21 percent basic attack damage it does say that enemy squad has to be silenced it doesn't say that you are supposed to silence him so if your support hero is not julia chan if the enemy squad you're hitting is being hit by any other silencing hero this will still take into effect so if you pair him with Julia or Chen, you pretty much guarantee this 21% because this particular thing doesn't have a percentage of chance. It will happen if the silence is there. Okay, so next is during siege, range squad defense and HP will increase by 25% each. So it's 50% stat buff for siege alone. Now, so far what we have seen that first skill is unlocked. You can use him on the field. This particular skill also is unlocked. You can use this on the field as well. This one is only for siege. It doesn't say it has to be a rally. So you can just take a single squad out, hit a tower or a shelter, whatever. This particular stat buff will be there. Now fourth skill is where things get a little crazy. During rally, increase skill damage dealt to garrison squad by 54%. Now this is max that any hero provides on the skill damage by himself. It does say that all the damage taken from garrison squad will be increased by 12.5% but this is nothing compared to this 54% skill damage plus this 50% stat buff. It does say garrison so basically this is a siege rally they are talking about. Yeah this particular skill most likely is either going to be changed in future because this does not make sense. So my prediction over here is either of the two things are gonna happen. So one would be they could potentially change this skill to have him take more damage or deal less damage whatever that thing is or they are changing the meta from defense to attack like when thunder got launched everything was about garrison everything revolved around thunder till date we have seen that they are still trying to have thunder countered in a sense but with this and what updates that we saw for the julia silence and three rally attack on any tower so they might be potentially going from garrison to siege now as the whole direction of the game again i don't know it's just a prediction but this is insane this is absolutely insane and if you look closely it says skill damage dealt by the rally 
it doesn't say him alone so basically if you have another high damage dealing hero this 54% increment will apply on that hero as well if you look at victor you see that this particular uh, increment only increases his own skill damage that's not the case for him it will just happen for the entire rally anyway that is his skills now where you can use him he is a siege rally hero so if you're not a rally commander in your alliance this hero might not do you a lot of good because only two of his skills are actually usable on field and there are better heroes plus new hero lin is coming out that is basically for field fighting so i would recommend that if you are a rally captain this hero is a must like we had thunder as a must for garrison it will be like that but if you're not a garrison captain he will not help you a lot on the field now what would be his good talent build i would say you can have him the way we have for eddy you can basically pick up some counter damage from siege tree max out the range trees to have more damage going on from all the range squad that you have and some defensive capabilities to increase the survivability there are certain skills that i personally don't go for because they are not that useful in my opinion or the downside doesn't justify the upside in a sense but that's just my personal opinion now what would be the skill sequence for this if you are doing a field fight with him 1 2 3 4 4 would be a good sequence but if you are rally captain i would recommend 1 2 4 3 4 because this hp and defense buff you can get from your support hero as well but this 54% rally skill damage is absolutely must so this is insane with this i think one thing that's left is who you can pair him with obvious choices are in rally pair him with julia as a lead or chun as a lead to have that skill damage going on drop faster you can lead with him as well not a problem at all you'll basically increase the survivability of the rally in that case so that would be one use if you're using him in field lead with luis and put him in support so you can do that skill damage which is circular aoe for the most part if your luis is not awake and your squad will still do circular aoe so this is really good in that case and julian chana obviously another choice is that can that you can put him with so i think along with this i basically covered everything if you have any questions or comments do let me know in the comment section of the video or in the game i'll try my best to go through all the comments and answer those queries and with this i really appreciate you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video very soon thank you